What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to go over a um, a topic that's really been uh, being talked about in the community coming up to season 28, and that is to use or not use your uh, challenge rift cash that you're going to start on Friday uh, when you first get it. As we all know, when you're leveling up, you normally would pop the cash and you would use all those resources to get your level 70 weapon you would get a weapon power and then be able to upgrade it you know and put it in the cube etc right and that's how you would typically level up but now with the altar of rights that we have here because we're able to get a couple of these just right off the bat the big question is are you going to want to spend your cash or not because on the list it's the 13th one i think or the 12th one or something like that where you um, pop it and you're able you have to use a challenge rift cash to be able to advance to go through your nodes here so a lot of people are wondering hey do we pop it and do we just use it to get you know a couple things up until you know we get to the cash which is gonna happen very quickly so then you have to wait until the following Monday when the you know the challenge rift cash is reset you know the the challenges so you'd have to wait till Monday so you'd spend the whole weekend playing and you wouldn't be able to advance your nodes but when you're looking at all of these bonuses guys it really just comes down to whether whether or not you just want to wait a couple days or not because with the nodes you're going to be able to level up so fast okay because if you look at it the very first one that you're going to get is going to be really easy your kill streak timer and duration reward bonuses are doubled so when you go and you're doing your massacre bonusing and you're just crushing like your reward you're going to be able to level up so fast just with this right and then the normal path that we talked about in another video is to have the uh items that have no level requirement but the thing about this is just real quick is that you're not going to have any gold to go buy one right and you're not going to be able to level up the blacksmith to be able to craft the level 70 weapons so instead you come down here and you get mirror for pools of reflection to last the entire season so that way you get 42 percent extra exp so these two are very easy to get because when you're starting off you're going to use your well we're going to talk about this in the leveling guide but you're going to come to all of your your followers and take all their weapons and then salvage them okay and then what that does is that's going to give you the first node and then the second node you need the two um diamonds at level 18 so you take this you go level up and then you get to 18 you pop this and then you're just going to fly to 70. so and the easiest way to do that guys is to go and go do the isolated uh bounty so for example if you have an isolated bounty on skeleton king because it's very quick uh, or in act two you could go do a uh, zoltan cool like you go do this if he's the bounty so that way they drop you the uh diamonds and you can get them really really easy and fast so there's just so many powers and you're going to be able to level up so fast in this game which is going to allow you to unlock the rest of these i think starting off guys you're just not going to have to spend your cash i would save it i would save the cash so that way you you know you're able to spend it on the node to level up so let's uh let's check and see the official uh rank here on how what number it is for you to level up so the 15th node that you're going to unlock is going to be using the the um challenge rift cash and i think once you're once you pop these two nodes guys and you get to 70 you're going to be able to just fly and get through all the rest you're going to be able to use the tokens you're going to be able to use the blood shards it's going to be easy to get the reaper wraps you're going to be able to get forgotten souls and go do bounties like it's going to be relatively easy so i think that you just save it because once you get these first couple ones like you go grab gateway you grab mirror and then you unlock the third one which is anointed because your third one only has to be a greater rift key and once you've used these two and you get to 70 you do one greater uh you know one challenge rift and boom you got your greater rift key and then you have these three things just to be able to just crush it so i don't think that you're going to want to use your challenge rift cash guys i would suggest saving it now if you're more of a casual player and you want to save it or excuse me and you know you don't want to save it and just wait until monday over the weekend feel free or if like you you don't have a lot of time to play and you don't want to take the little bit longer grind to not use the cash and level up that way then by all means pop the cash you got a couple days you get another challenge with cash and then you're good to go so uh but me personally i don't think it's going to be too hard to get to 70 just by popping these two so i would just i would save the cash guys and then you'll be able to use it on that day because once you hit 70 you're going to fly through these nodes i mean it's just going to be so easy to fly through them uh 
So that's my opinion, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you are going to save or use your Challenge Rift Cash on day one of season 28. Make sure to like the video if this guy uh, this guide has helped you out. And as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.